So a new video has resurfaced with Cassie and Diddy and it just looks very creepy. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content, 24 seven, fresh content on this channel, injected. And let's get straight into this video. Send a super thanks if you guys wish to comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. This video has resurfaced. It's a very, very old video. I would say roughly over 10 years or so that has somehow found its way on the internet. And, you know, Cassie to, um, um, everybody being Cassie. Y'all know that's Cassie. Cassie. <laughs> Cassie. 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 And, um, here's the story of Cassie. 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 So it was uploaded as well where we see Cassie and P Diddy and this is I believe in 2006 2007 when Cassie was about to be signed to bad boy records now you can see in this video how young Cassie looks I believe Ryan Leslie is there with her and I believe he left Ryan Leslie to go sign up for P Diddy and you can just see in her face she's so excited to start this music career this was before a lot of the abuse or any of the abuse began she had no idea what world of pain that she was about to enter and you see all of these, you know, high music executives sitting there knowing exactly what PDD is going to do. They probably had exact inclinations of how this man works, his real true intentions of why he wanted to sign Cassie, and none of them said anything. And you have PDD going on with this, you know, huge speech of bravado, almost like love bombing, where he is, you know, exclaiming to everybody how great Cassie is, how much potential she has. The song Me and You was a good hit, and obviously he's looking at her and wanting her to do so great. And that's what she thinks when really and truly, he made a sign of what, a 10 year album deal, a contract to basically, it's basically a slave contract. I don't know, I just have the ingenuity to do that. So when he was doing that, I heard he also had a young lady that was with him named Cassie that had a record out. I start, started hearing this record that was haunting me in the clubs. And it was, you know, it, it was um, Cassie's record, me and you. And, um, he then pimp her out to multiple men, drug her so that she had to have IVs, abuse her, beat her, pull her hair out and etc. All of this abuse that was about to follow and she just had no idea. And this video makes everything even more creepy in my opinion because you really see the age of the individual. You really see the age of the individual when they are at a point where the abuse began. And you know, we're looking at Cassie now thinking about what she's going through, but you really have to look at the person from when they were that age, when they were 16, 17, 18, 19, how young they actually looked when they were going through these things. And it makes your opinion on situations change. It makes your opinions become more deep in, and in just in depth in general. And you really look at this video and it makes it a lot more eerie and creepy for me, how young she looked especially. She looked so, young in this video so bright her light her eyes lit up you know excited for new ventures but these grown predators around her r worded her you know essayed her i wouldn't even be surprised if some of the men in those room were in those freak offs i wouldn't even be surprised because i believe the man next to p diddy in the in this video is also somebody that works with bad boy records that is also facing a lawsuit so i wouldn't be surprised if the men in these videos were also men who attended those freak offs wearing those masks also wanting to have their way with cassie it just goes to show you how predatory people are in any industry whether it's music fashion art in any country in any culture it's all the same rules it's the same processes it's the same levels of grooming you know and grooming is presented as an attraction sorry grooming is presented as an attractive state for those people to look for those victims and then of course it's a huge different world that they have no idea about it just makes it very scary and it just looks it makes you look at this even more deeper than initially so let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this creepy video subscribe to the channel click that button guys it is daily and consistent content i would appreciate it it's just one click to subscribe just one click guys click the notifications bell and let's get straight into this video i mean let's wrap this video up sorry ah, i've been filming so much bruh let me just stop filming